Hello, Skullgirls fans, and this is Shadow 3 along with... Hey, Slice Toast here. And we're going to be... Well, I'm going to be learning Skullgirls because Slice Toast is better than me, so... There's, I don't know how much he's going to be learning, but... <laughs> I'm going to be learning uh. something. And... Yeah, just... So, Slice Toast, have a lobby set up. So yeah, oh, just going to be practicing right. and basically going over stuff, talking about how I'm playing, and... Hopefully, in my learning, then it'll also be learning for you, the viewer, because we'll be talking about how we're like, thinking about what we're talking, doing, and why we're doing it, and going over bits of advice as we get up with them. And that should be something. So we'll see how that goes. Or um, better than nothing. Yes, exactly. So once Slice Toast gets into the lobby, we shall begin. All right, hold on. Let me just find you and just say join game. There it is. Okay. So we are go for the first game. So we're just... Okay, start up. And in case you're wondering, I am using a stick because that is the... That is what cool kids do. Actually, it's because <laughs> it's a lot easier for me to play for a long period of time on a stick than it is for me to play on a pad. Eh. To each his own. I still remember all the trouble that thing caused at Evo. It was pretty funny. Which thing? The, con the controller you used. Can I we don't speak of that. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Uh, so anyway, still glorious. Yeah, I am playing Fortune Fuqua, and he is Big Ban, because he is Big Ban. That's who plays. Uh, so, first off, in the zone, and makes up. Slice Toast is really, really enjoys getting on the air, so I have to be careful about that. I'm trying to make sure I use my EP, but that didn't work out too well, unfortunately, in that particular instance. Now I'm just waiting for the reset. Wow. <laughs> that was. That's cute. You're waiting for the reset. Well, it's all I can do. Oh, okay, that was that was dumb. Okay, well, I've lost fortune, but like I said, I am the worst player here, so it's no surprise. I'm also trying to get you to stick, so yeah. That's... Hey, gotta start somewhere. Yep. Oh, crap. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, something. Ah, oh, I darn it. Couldn't get the combo off that, but I haven't tried that one enough. However, going to be... Yeah, that's gonna be that match. So, what did we learn? Really careful about uh, high blocking. That's yeah, mix-ups. If you're new to this game, a lot of people don't really. They do the they do the tutorials, which is fine. The tutorials teach you a lot of things, and it's better than most fighting games out there. But I'd say if you want to get good at Skullgirls, go to tutorials, learn the basics. You want to spend a little bit of time in training mode to get familiar with your character, or you can do what I just did with Big Band and just go online and get your butt kicked a bunch until you actually start learning decent time. combos. Looks like and then once you get fed up with getting your butt handed to you, you actually do training. <laughs> yeah, I kind of went the opposite way where I looked online for combos and then tried to get neutral game up quick play, but it's kind of tricky to do. Honestly, didn't really learn a whole lot until I went to Evo, so... Hey, Evo, that, who the fuck it? Yeah, no, big tournament, I think. You wouldn't think you'd learn a ton there, but apparently you do. About like, what things are possible in the game and how people actually play. Okay, that I could. That I could play. So I can just get hit in. Of course, I'm playing Fuku. I'm being silly. And you go for the reset? No, you aren't. In fact, you're gonna go for a super. Oh, I did not expect that. There we go. Got that in. Yep, that's super. That super is. Yeah, very painful because it's, it's just disability frames. I cannot believe I missed that input. Ah, oh, I was vulnerable then? Okay, well that. Yeah, they, um, if you check out the patch notes now, Fuku has some severe vulnerability frames after that stuff now. After BFF? Oh, okay. I missed that bit. I saw the rest of the patch notes, but yeah, that was. That was changed recently. In case you are not familiar, Fuku was considered by the community at least to be top tier, and was nerfed. I mean, she wasn't used in any of the final, in the top four in EVO, but Bella no, but was using she, everyone. She, she accelerated quite a few people to the top, like 32. True. 
Now what I'm doing there for viewers that haven't really played Big Ban is Big Ban's one of the few characters out there that actually gets better if you do a taunt, which is a certain button input during a game, but the only problem with it is that it leaves you exposed when you decide to taunt. Oh nice! Oh, nice. You went for the air throw! Finally my throw tech idea makes sense! Yeah, in case you're wondering, in Evo, everyone on... When Evo came in, everyone did a throw. Pretty much everybody, every single... Oh. Every single hop in after the server died was followed by a throw. And yeah. You gotta, when it comes to that, when people come in off screen, you gotta try to uh, mix it up a little. I tend to try to go for throw resets with Fuqua because I really don't like her getting any space. But that's the old Fuqua, and now I have to relearn how to fight the new Fuqua. Yeah. Which is not gonna be too bad. All of her fireballs are now very vulnerable on throw. They are. So that's a yeah. tricky thing for me to realize. We are playing the beta, by the way, so this is the new Fuqua. Well, potentially new I mean, I, I believe personally that she will get put in this way because she now actually like has some risk reward system. Okay, now what I did there is uh, grab fake reset, which is essentially he knew that I possibly would have grab reset after that move. So instead of going for the usual grab reset and having a chance for him to throw tech. jump back out of it, or, or throw tech, or do whatever you wanted to it, he, I pretty much just made it look like I was going to do that and instead came in with a light uh, a light jab to continue the combo. I'm not going to make super out of Okay, that was... That was... I really... I know, you know, out of all these games I've played, all these times I've, I've fought, I have not once fought Duckator. Or Duckator. Really? At all. You have never fought King of Skull Rules. Even all the even all the tournaments Actually, I played with even Skull Bats. In my group. Ladies and gentlemen, it's <laughs> I have this with a friend and I talk to him a lot, but I've never played a casual game or set with him. It's really kind of funny. I gotta remember whenever I do that, then you go for a throw. Oh, nice. Thanks. He beat my armor, which is uh, yeah. Certain characters have armor moves, which allow you to negate hits depending on. What you get hit by. Most cases, my uh, the the fist you see come out and fly across the screen. Depending on what button I hit, gives me certain hits of armor. I didn't think that was gonna connect. Oh what? I did not think you crossed me up there. The, the symbols alone gave me a little uh, enough reach to cause issues. Yes, indeed they did. And that was really problematic. Okay, what Shadow just did there? It was very smart. I was. He didn't know if I was going to use a throw or I was going to continue a combo, and he actually read it right. He uh, he read it as I was going to actually hit him afterwards as a punish, and he blocked accordingly. The hardest thing I could say about this game that you have to learn in general for all new players out there is you have to learn the flow of the game because you can't just hold back and mash buttons and expect to get out of a combo because that's how you easily get set up for resets. Yeah, the entire metagame of resets is built around the idea that people are not going to block, they're just going to keep attacking. And if you block, one thing I've very quickly learned is that if you block, you have to keep blocking attacks even as you're getting hit by them, just in case the next one comes in a bit too late. And allows you to be able to get out of it by blocking. Of course, then again, throw resets come up, but that's another story. Ah, uh, big man's really hard to beat. I'm going to speak to Fuqua first, actually. Is that your point character? Yeah, because against big bands, I think just Fuqua provides more options. But then again, oh, nice carry. Thank you. Darn it. I think it's my distance. I'm not sure exactly where I can get priority on you. Gotcha. That's yeah, that's out. Ow. Even if you were just a slight tick from full, if I had that charged with a beat or uh, had a charge with a taunt, that would have killed. Yeah, but you, you knocked me out with the original thing to begin with, so it wasn't a big deal. But no, uh, yeah, it's basically I'll to get good at the game, you just gotta, you gotta. Oh, here. Um, no, no, no. I can. I'll do it in the next match. Later. There we go. It just takes time. You gotta be patient, or else if you're, if you're not the kind of care, if you're not the kind of person that if you lose, you don't want to get better. This game is not gonna be for you. 
Uh, I missed the secondary. Oh, yes, well. you did, but. Uh, yes, that actually, I needed that assist to keep, I, I shouldn't need that assist to keep combo going, but I messed it up. Thankfully, the assist. Oh, got me in the cross up. Nice. Read my hit. Ah, yeah. Didn't the second time. Oh, I can block that. Cool. Yeah, I, I didn't do it fast enough. Oh, no, no, okay, I think I'm going to lose Fuqua here, but we'll see. Nope! Oh, uh, didn't. Oh, shoot. Oh, come on! I had you there. Yep. Stupid assist timing. More for assist timing. Assists. One more. Not even once. No, I'm just kidding. That's the one cool thing I, I do like about this game, and sometimes I have gripes about, but it's not bad. It's it's like this game attempts to put Street Fighter with Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Like it allows you to have a one-person team, or hell, it allows you to have a three-person team. Whatever makes you Marvel. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. I like, out of all the fighting games I've played in a long time, I like the speed of this game. Yeah, I want to get used to how to, how to guess the mix-up on the reset. Yeah, those are always demonic. Well, I got that throw reset timing. I went on fortune before you managed to beat me regardless. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Whew. I was close enough. That's not the invincible. That! Ah, oh, that was the invincible moment you crossed me up. That, was out. that did not last long. Yep. Why does, she look look like she Why does she look like she enjoys it in that super frame? Because she's so cool and she's creepy and probably kinky that way, honestly. I hate to say it because. Yeah, probably so. Yeah, Fuqua is just really. Fuqua's odd. Fuqua's an odd one. Oh, yeah, you keep wanting to change a Fuqua at a point. I know, but I'm trying to. I'm hitting the tag button and that's not doing it. I think in order to get her to come in, I think you have to hold one of the. Uh, you don't hold the tag button, you hold one of the uh, regular buttons. Like they changed that recently. Oh, that was bad. Great. I didn't even know. I don't want to lose my head there. Literally. No, I mean I just. Yeah. Okay. Wow, well, that is more vulnerable. Yep. I'm very happy with that. It means that is punishable as hell. Mostly. Of course, I've. Yeah, this isn't working out too well. Okay, that's. Well, I'll try holding assist then. I don't know, maybe that'll work. Even the sky. Should be tagged at this point though. An overwhelming victory. Like, is it you hold assist after play again, or what? One more one. Um, no, you just have to change characters, I believe. I've never, I've never heard of a system in this game where you just hold assist, hit play again, and it swaps the character. Oh, because that is a system in this game. Oh, I didn't even know that, but I've never seen it work. I never. <laughs> Just tag out. Or get hit. Oh, good. You read that as actually a hit reset. Yes, but I didn't push it. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Nice. Ah, crap. Ah, shit. Oh, well. Read the reset, but didn't quite nail the combo on it. You need to train more, apparently. That all happened. I started out fucking terrible. Okay, well this fortune's dead. Is not. Well, given that I got the stick yesterday too, it's take a month to get used to it. I can never. I guess I gotta jump earlier to get that combo to hit right because I keep missing. I keep whipping the jump like punch. Yeah. So I, I probably, as soon as they're done with the beat extend, I probably just have to jump. Because that would make more sense to me. Let's see if you're up to scratch. Oh. But yeah, that's the main difference in this game if you're new to it. If you have a one-man team versus a two-man team or a three-man team, you already have an advantage in terms of health and damage. But you have less options for and combos. And no recharging and, health. Yeah. Which is... Finally, I read that one. I missed that one. Nice. 
Okay. Ron, that was a bad time to crash the rock. Get you on that one. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, darn it. Wow. Okay. And I used to live! Barely! But I live! Not well enough, though. <laughs> yeah, my Fuqua combos are not a thing, unfortunately. I sort of what? Oh, yes. Yeah, character lineup. Hmm? Alright. I hit play again so that way I don't have to change my character. Which, yep. I kind of like that system in this game. If you don't want to change your character, you just hit play again and the game automatically recognizes with, okay, he's cool with that, it's just the other guy that wants to change. Yeah. That is in most fighting games, like especially Super Street Fighter or Marvel vs. Capcom or hell, even uh, Dead or Alive, you change characters for one, it changes for both. I think Which, every fighting game pretty much does that. I can't think of one offhand that doesn't. Skullgirls. <laughs> Other than Skullgirls, obviously. That, that goes without saying. Ah, uh, use medium. Hey, oh! Shouldn't have backdashed. Wow, I bought oh, that one too. A bit of lag. That's a bad sign. You don't have any storms in there, do you? Uh, Last time we storms? played, you had the storms, so it screwed everything up. Uh, yeah, we it's monsoon season in Arizona, which means, guess what, we get storms all the time. Oh, you actually have a special name for that? Yep. Oh, wow. It's a, it's a desert climate storm. Oh, yeah, it's right. You actually don't get rain every day. No. We're not Canada land, man. Actually, it's Pacific Northwest. So Vancouver and Washington, Oregon State as well. Okay, that. Ooh, wow, I missed it. No, I blocked it. I'm getting used to blocking high for a lot of your attacks, so you're gonna probably mix up and blow. I got chipped out on that? Wow. I did not expect to get chipped out on that one. Yeah, that's with, your head out on that, with your head out on that one, a level 3, that just absolutely wrecks you. Oh, okay. That's what it was. If you didn't have the if you had the head gone, I wouldn't have done that. Because that's a bad idea. Ooh, nice. That was an overhead. Yeah, that's, that's one good thing about Fuku is her shadows give amazing overhead mix-ups. They do, and that's why I, that is the reason I use that as my, as my assist for her. Although it's not going to be relevant because she's about to die. Nope, not unless I jack up my combos. Ooh, nice command grab. There we go. Ow. Burp. What? Uh, the only thing I find hard to use with a stick is re letting go of the thing before hitting some attacks. Like, you can't these down attacks and you need to be standing. That was supposed to be a standing heavy punch, not a crouching heavy punch. Nice. Same with that one. That was, supposed to be, that, was, that was a really good time. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Oh, no. Yes. Can't call him off that one. That's the reset one. That was a bad idea. Yeah, as soon as you see that whip, you can just go in on it, because I am... Oh. I tried to tech forward and it stood me up. Dirt, damn it. Finally get that complete! I think he's dead, Jim. <laughs> Never! Wait, no, yes. Yes, he is. That's a good thing. One more time! Not yeah, dead until I'm done with... killing him. I was I was playing POS Industries last night. It was pretty funny. Uh, we agreed that he throws out Fukuoka fireballs, and I just kept parrying them. And he goes, all he hears in his head as I'm walking towards him is the Terminator theme. Oh. You're not sandbagging, right? Me? <laughs> no, you aren't. What am I saying? I know how you play. I only sandbag upon request, sir. No, I do not want to be sandbagged. I want to be for real. Uh, like I said, upon request, and you have not requested that. Hell no. Although, admittedly. No, 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 no. I shouldn't go there. Oh, nice 
block. Oh wow, I forgot. You gotta go low with that. Yeah, and actually, I probably should have gone for throw. That was throw was one of the best options, and I did not go for it. Ah. The world is full of obvious. Not enough health. Yeah. But hey, I'm learning to block. Hey, blocking. Last Pivotal skill I ever learned in fighting games is blocking. I know it sounds really stupid, but when you play the Guilty Gear AI, the last skill you'll learn is blocking. Uh, yeah, kind of true. <laughs> Read that wrong. Yeah, well, I find a lot of people do that with me because I tend to start around. I will start here sometimes, but I often start around. Well, that didn't work out too well. <laughs> oh, why did I think that was ending in the air? Nice. Thanks, I man. Yeah, that took me a while to master. Getting used to Zen and Bush, I'm trying to. Okay, that's dead. I was trying to do fire. Or, no, I was trying to do five rubbers, but I didn't. He put screwed up. I'm like I said, getting used to this. So. Does not help us still. What? Heavy symbol or fiber upper? I think heavy symbol because fiber upper doesn't have an invuln. That, that's true. But honestly, I don't know. I think it's a matter of what which one I use and what your position is. Because I don't think the legs of fiber upper are vulnerable. I think it's just the body. The torso. Yeah, I think the legs are just attack boxes. Oh, right, I got you. What am I doing? <laughs> Getting used to what I have that's near you, that's a problem. Oh. I literally I literally try to use that move so close to the ground, I don't know whether or not it's considered a... Oh, dang. I wasted my sound stun. Oh. Yeah. Oh, bad idea. Yeah, if I didn't waste my sound stun, that's, that combo could have been a lot longer. Oh. Damn, wow. That was dumb. I keep forgetting I don't want to run into Big Band. That's always the silly nah. thing to do. You, as misfortune, you can run into a lot of people. A lot of people that use the guns, that you can just go right under the bullets, like Parasol and Double. Yeah, Big Band's not one of them. Those aren't exactly guns. No. Well, technically, they are guns Ladies using arms. But... Showtime. <laughs> wow, I just went through that. Yeah. You can. You don't want to block low at it because it gets what it's not low. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what moves I have that have priority enough to actually get you. That I'm finding tough. Ah, close. Ah. Now why don't I just switch out? Oh, well. That was a bad idea. And I could have connected out that. I can do a combo off that hit. Yeah, fire for upper is deadly susceptible to that. That actually was a mistake. But oh, yeah. Oh. I have to go now. I just pull it off. Cap, but... I took a screen cap fighting um one of my friends online today. I just ran into him in a quick match. Literally his entire team, his three entire three man team is dead in a pile in a corner. <laughs> so I guess where you didn't go very far. Well, you caught you in the middle of the back dash there. That. Ah. Yeah, that move is definitely not safe. Man, trying to throw my approach option is really tough. That was not what I wanted. You don't want to trigger IPS in the corpse? Uh. Ah, you can actually time that. Yeah, you just gotta wait for the right moment. Oh, uh. 
Perfect on you! <laughs> this team's got flaws. What's up? Oh, you're in the wrong. Ah, uh, damn it. Use the wrong button as well. Oh, and I had my level 3, too. Even the sky, even yeah, you gotta be careful with Misfortune's level 3, because that thing reaches wins. all over the place. Mm -hmm. One more time. I'm not sure if it's full screen, but yeah, that is a thing. It actually is. The um, the arms that shoot off and the legs that shoot off, if they hit you, they've got you. Oh, okay. Like, you have to block it. Crap. That was fortunate. Yeah, I, I used that with some fierce. Oh, nice. Yeah, fiber out was really hard to, to hit right out the gate. Oh, that sucks. a priority. Shoot. There's a lot of it. The world is full of obvious things. Should have waited about a half second. <laughs> yeah, that, that move is, is very dirty. Just for the sheer one fact that time. it can close gaps on Peacock players because you just do that during one of their strings of zoning and you just jump closer. And yeah. And if they get hit by it, well then hell, they're already in your their, your loving range. Yep. All right. Unblockable that range. Darn it! Doesn't, it doesn't do any damage. I know, but it's not. Oh, it doesn't? Oh, I didn't know that actually. Ah, uh, too close. Yeah, the, the, the giant step at a distance does not do any damage whatsoever. Okay. Useful knowledge there, people. All it does is a knock up. Oh, too close to the wall. I'm trying to blow the super there. Nope. Nope. Very nope. That did not work at all. And... Oh, no French horn super? Nah. Oh, okay. I, I had the taunt for it, but... Nice. Ah. That was... I guess I had it differently. And... Oh! You're high enough to avoid it! Darn it, I keep mixing up my Fuku and Fortune combos. <laughs> Which is why I do not play more than one character. <laughs> uh, I hadn't done that. It's like, it's always so close, except for that one time I won. Victory to Mr. Dominic. One more once. Would have been. Well, well, I don't know how many games I can play. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's I think showtime. if you want to play only a couple more, that's probably fine. Yeah, are you streaming on Twitch or something, or yep. is this going on YouTube? On both. Well, Twitch, Twitch right now, and YouTube once I've done this processing, which will take a while. Okay, to big band players out there, I know that looks like a cool combo, but if you're dealing with characters in general, try not to do that SSJ without a taunt, because you really absolutely don't want characters to sneak out of the corner. A lot of big band players like uh, having their people in the middle of the screen to deal with. I personally like the corner. There's more mix-up options, and you can do other evil, demented things to people. Like this. Ah! Right as I lose my head. And that'll be dead. I have three meter now. I Yay! mean, it does me no good, awesome. but I have awesome. it. Big band players out there. If you fight fortunes, they are tough. One There's no time. question about that. They're tough as hell. However, if you're lucky enough that you fight one that likes to play with their head off, I'm not saying that Shadow is doing I that, do but he likes to play I with it on. on. Yeah, if you're ever playing one that does a head off one, all you gotta do is get him into a good combo and hit him with an SSJ that's taunted, and you're pretty much in, in, in candy land. Okay, well that... 
I did not need that right. However, <laughs> still alive. Yes. Shot her out of there. Not for long though. I mean, it won't matter, but something. Oh, thanks a lot. You're welcome. I can finish my plate. Read the throw reset, but didn't quite work out. Oh shit. That head was not supposed to come off. Ah. Now, what I did there is, depending on where the corpse lands for the enemy, determines where the second player will come in if they have a team of more than one. As you saw there, I launched him to my left, but I knew the head was on my right, so I moved to the left of the corpse before Shadow Fury's character came in, forcing the game to put them on the right. You gotta be careful with just positioning in general, because that's the only way you get good with band, is the positioning. Playing that positioning game. Nice. Well, that, that will go out. Although I did a decent amount of damage. Man, I can't always last less time than I expected, though. What, talk to my guy? Yes, I keep expecting that would last more, enough time that I could actually deal with it as I come in, but nope. For a reason they could have read out. I'm gonna get better at converting that headshot into my regular combo because I can do it. It's doable. You have to be really quick about it. Like the, the heavy punch where I push my head forward. One more time. Yeah. Yeah. There's also one where you do the uh, the one where you come down from the sky. As soon as you're done hitting that, you could do like the the head sneeze one to hit someone with. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Actually, this will be perfect. My headset's about to die in general, so. Okay, so this is the last game. Yeah, got a little more of that set. Oh, got me. Yes! Nice. Finally! <laughs> that darn double ultimate. I took you only in that last hit, though. He's gonna lose his block. I probably learned to throw reset that one, actually. Walk. Oh. <laughs> okay, cross under. I'll, I'll take. Ah. Right. I have to remember how to do the fiber up. Oh well. I tried. I, I, I tried. I got one more in me. I tried to do a uh, one of my trickier things right there, but it came out as a crouch heavy punch. So like, you know, what? Eh, just roll with it. <laughs> Also, uh, another good thing for Skullgirls players out there, if you do something wrong as like a bad button input, if you learn your character really well, you just need to learn how to roll with the mistakes. I know that sounds like a weird thing to say, but you're, it'll come in handy, trust me. Yeah, that's something I've been needing to do a lot of recently that would help out a lot. Especially since, like I said, neutral and down, it's really hard to get back to neutral for some reason on the stick. Harder than I expected. Might as well ink out a little bit more damage. Yeah. That. Ag. Priority. Play low priority here. Uh, the main weakness. Uh, the two characters you have are pretty mean priority. Oh, I guess they started with Jim and Guilty Gear and gave no priority at all. You read it. You read it that time. I had it, but I pressed the wrong interrupt button. Ooh. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Crap. Oh, I didn't know that was okay. Didn't mean to use that. <sighs> Almost got a win in that last game. Oh, that's that's it then. Can I get a round of applause? All right, come on. We're so close.
You were so close. My, head, my headset's once. beeping pretty bad, which means it's got maybe like a couple minutes worth of energy left in it. So okay, this'll... so we have this is the last one, people. Who's watching? Yeah. Whoever's watching. Yeah. As much as I keep procrastinating, it is a work night. Nice. Ooh. I just want to hit the assist. I'll get punished for that, but you can hit the assist without severely compromising yourself. It's always a good thing to hit because yeah. Oh. 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 I threw out one of my moves and. Ah, oh, you're late. Almost. I threw out one of my moves and I was. The hitbox from the symbol, or from the triangle, actually got me in trouble there. Yep. Ah! <laughs> Damn, that terror entry keeps messing up my oh. attempt to get rid of it. Oh, fuck. Yeah, no. Ah, uh, what you got? Ah, I messed up the Zed. I've really got to practice that because I cannot get fiber uppers on command. Uh. That, that's easy for me as a pad player because I just know where the sweet spot is, but yeah, that's yeah. the sweet spot for you. Oh well. well, yeah, hey, I enjoyed that. We should do that again more often. Yeah. Or just like host a room and just get people in like Salty Fridays or something like that. Yeah, that is kind of what I plan to do ultimately. If hopefully this gains more steam as sort of the thing. So I'll have like, like probably zero K <laughs> one night and this another night and probably for now zero k another night so yeah this would be one of my three nights would be this thing of learn skull girls which is mostly shadow free learn skull girls but eventually it'll be me play skull girls and if i'm spectating it'll be me casting skull girls so for now however that's gonna be it so thank you guys all for watching thank you slice toast for joining up and that will be it for us tonight good night everyone Take it easy.